Kevin here. So today we're going to talk about pendulums. So the history of pendulums, love history, go way back, you guys, like to ancient history. Like, let's think Egyptians, probably even before then. But um, these cultures used uh, pendulums for things like finding water sources, um, kind of getting everyday life answers, um, even like the sex of a baby before it's born. Military have used this type of uh, tool in the past to guide as well. So... That is history. The second question I usually get is what kind of pendulum should I get? Well, for example, here I have a sunstone a pendulum. It's about positivity and um, happiness. And the other one that I use is the Labradorite as well. Um, it's about third eye intuition. Um, I would say just start out with something simple. Go for a clear quartz or a rose quartz or like an amethyst. And I have my handy dandy gemstone crystals guide. I think I got it off Etsy. And I usually um, use my pendulums um, just depending where I'm at um, in life and uh, select one that um, is good for me at that time or something that would best uh, suit me at that time. So that's my advice to you. Okay, and also, when you're getting a pendulum, make sure that you check for, like, imperfections. I don't know if you can see, like, little grooves or stuff in there. This is rose quartz. Um, you just want to make sure that, I mean, Earth has imperfections in it, okay? Uh, that's the beauty of nature. Uh, you want to make sure you're not getting something like glass or resin. Um, you can even go for metals, okay? Um, you can go online. Uh, I think I've said before, I love Raven's collections on Etsy, um, designs by Imogen. Always look up for yourself. You can even get them off Amazon. Um, just go for what you feel is right for you, okay? So people ask, what do you do with a pendulum? Generally, you ask yes, no questions, okay? You want to hold the pendulum like so between these two fingers. Usually you want to use your dominant or writing hand, okay? I will hold this up here so you can see it. Yes is going to go for north and south. No is going to go for east and west. So I'll try to hold my hand as still as I can. Am I wearing red glasses? Okay. My higher self is saying yes. Am I wearing black glasses? It's going east-west. No. So that's the general use of the pendulum, okay? Now, I also want to go a step further. Um, there's a set of probabilities, okay? So I'll get into that. I use this little handy-dandy guy here. Yes, you can ask yes or no questions, but maybe you want to get a little more in depth. So it's about probabilities. Um, life is about free will. It's about different timelines um, based on what you choose, okay, at, at a certain um, point in time. So let's just ask something simple. Um, okay. Uh, am I vitamin C deficient? Yes, I am. Okay, well, what's the percentage of that? 50 to 60 percent. So I want to work on that. That's just something simple to show you. Um, yes, you can ask yes or no, you can get no, but kind of how much? Like, where is there room to play with that? So this is my book, Devin's Pendulum Charts. I use this um, for a lot of stuff. I mean, from health, I mean, you name it. Over the past few years, I have gained a lot of knowledge and put this into a book and you can too you can go online i usually i think i get some stuff from subtil s-u-b-t-i-l you can download it or print it or off etsy once again use your own research to go out and look for what works for you so let me impart some knowledge on you guys so when doing this kind of stuff, especially like with pendulums, make sure that you have the best of intentions when you're doing it, that you're in a good headspace when doing it, that you have, you know, some positivity with it. And I know that there are so many people out there that don't understand this kind of stuff. And once again, 
that is okay. I don't think there's one way to get to spirituality or God or a higher power. I mean, you could be a Christian um, seeing gospel to get there. You could be a, uh, a Catholic with your, you know, praying with your rosary beads or, you know, praying to Mecca or, you know, a Tibetan monk, you know, doing the sound bowl, the sound healing. It doesn't matter, you guys. It is about finding your truth. Okay, and so let me just go a step further. So I'd like to leave you with this analogy, and I want you to share it with whomever you want. But since I'm an artist, and this whole journey brought me here. Let's think of a box of crayons. Okay, say for example, I only use the color purple out of that crown box, and you want to use the color yellow out of that crown box. So when we make our pictures and we're just using that one color because that's our favorite color and we like that color it's a nice picture but don't you think it's a little monochromatic it's a little one-dimensional but if we use all the colors or appreciate all those colors and use them we create a beautiful picture a more in-depth picture so think about that analogy and reference to all this spirituality and life lessons in general Thanks, guys.